Okay, it's time to finish Doom 2 with Fast Monsters enabled. And we start in the Abandoned Mines. And this is a pretty handy start with the chain gunners not looking at me. But yeah, so it's funny, I do practice these maps before doing the recorded run. Just to make sure I've got strategies for fast monsters down and to try and remind myself of things like that, that the projectiles are much faster. And then yeah, I wouldn't normally do this when I'm playing this map, but for fast monsters, I do want to go and grab all that ammo. And I should have grabbed this first so I didn't waste any bullets, but it should be fine. And yeah, it's funny, so obviously I'm playing this series in uh, loads of five maps at once. Oh god, that was awful. Man, talking while you're playing definitely does add a new dimension to everything. Why would that guy survive? But so yeah, so I've practiced all the way up to map 30, and the map that gave me the most trouble was this one. This is the map that I died the most in, in my practice runs. And because I had to change my strategy, I guess, the most from how I would play normally without fast monsters. Uh, but all the other maps, like, you know, map 27, map 28, and even map 29, and of course map 30, I beat all four of those first time. You know, it was a practice run technically, but I just beat it straight up. Fast monsters, so what? But this map, I actually did die a couple of times. Um, so there you go, go figure. This map isn't usually talked about that much, let alone talked about as being difficult. But for me on Fast Monsters, it kind of has been. Anyway, hopefully that all made sense. I'm trying to like sort of half actually concentrate because of, you know, fast projectiles uh, while also getting my little story across. What the hell? Oh, he took the teleport. Man, these fast projectiles, I just keep forgetting about them. And see, this guy doesn't have them, so no different to normal. Except that he's just going to constantly fire. Okay, and then there's also stuff down here, quick as we want that. And the rockets. The suit will help. And then, yeah, this teleporter here takes me to that cell pack. Okay, that area. That area was one of the big challenges. I had. There's probably going to be a hack in here. No, it was an imp. Okay, well, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, imp. It's not what I expected to hear when I shot the uh, super shotgun there. Hey, shotgun up. Go away. Okay, so, but there is a cacodemon somewhere. Actually, you know what? I'm going to just immediately do what I didn't practice and come straight to this bit instead. Yeah, because of that guy. You. And then through this window here, I should be able to help myself. Or maybe... This window? Oh man, I don't like not knowing where that Cacodemon is, but yeah, it should be fine. Alright, there's gonna be lost souls up here. They are pretty brutal on fast monsters, as you can see. But everything's going pretty well. You're probably thinking, what do you mean you had trouble with this map? Well, yeah, obviously, I practiced it. You see how many of these fast projectiles I'm actually getting hit by yeah i always just completely forget like with the key maybe it's a keyboard thing it's probably just more of a me thing but muscle memory matters a lot with the keyboard i would say and so the projectiles changing their speed messing with your muscle memory makes a big difference to me whether that's just me or a keyboard thing don't quite know Okay, I uh, should have run and tried to do this a bit faster with the red suit, that's okay. What is shooting at me? Yeah, there's that cacodemon. I actually didn't have very many shells. Or bullets. Alright, well, I'm going to have to use this. Or do I? Wow, this is actually really bad. I have a rocket launcher, what am I doing? There you go. He actually did die, thank god. Alright. Oh, I have enough shells. We are getting up close and personal is not the best. Oh yeah, okay. Well, actually, no, there's no need. 
and do it more like in the demo. Actually, no, we can't. Because the guys in the distance are still going to be pelting me with fireballs. Wait, he, does, he uses the chain gun, I think, in the demo, not the plasma rifle. But this is what the guy in the demo does, because this map is one of the ones that there's a demo for in Vanilla Doom 2. And... Yeah, he just goes up into the imp's face, and he has, like, very little health. But he just sort of gets her up in, the, in their face, and I think he would die if not for the fact that he's, like, picking up one of those med kits right at the exact right moment. That's right, there's a lot of cacodemons here, right? I'm backing up. Actually, oh, I need these rockets, though. Alright, we're doing this. We're doing tenement style. Oh yeah, and there's another reason I died in the practice run of this map, it was so silly. But I had to do sort of more like this with a rocket launcher at one point, and then the uh, horizontal auto-aim screwed me by smacking into the wall in front of me. You'll see what I mean soon. Damn. I had time to strafe away and back into a fast Cacodemon projectile. Alright. Alright, let's actually go and get ammo from in this room. Now. Because look what I'm reduced to here. Nothing but plasma and the rocket launcher, well, reduced to, like... It's obviously good, but I don't want to be using it right now. Uh, and there should be just a teleport here. Okay, for this area. Uh, those bullets would be pretty handy, but... We'll just deal with Adam. Ooh, there's shells right in front of me here. Ah, oh, damn. Damn, damn. I didn't think he would have sightline on me there. And he did. Okay. This is the area I mean. Because normally I would stand back here and do this, right? But on fast monsters, you've got to dodge a bit more than you would normally. And I rocketed myself right here, thanks to horizontal auto aim. So you can see I'm being a lot more careful with how I fire the rockets because of exactly that. All right. Pretty sure there is something over there. Oh yeah, there's the button that raises the... Hang on. Yeah, that raises this back up and it means I can grab those bullets. So it is actually worth going into the other one, if you're keen on the bullets. But also, obviously, this is how you get the John Romero's patented supercharge in the watery between area. Alright, and now because I've already cleaned out this room, we can go straight into here. And I like to get infighting going. Oh god damn it. in this room, but it does take quite a while. So I wonder about it. Come on, Baron. Here we go. And obviously the Baron will end up winning that. Looks like Cacodemon's in here. So let's... Uh, bring them out. Yep. Alright, Baron. Make an enemy of yourself. Come on, Baron. Hit him. Yes, perfect. See, it's actually not that hard to get the infighting going, so it maybe doesn't take that long. Can you just get hit by the crossfire? Alright. Baron, one more. One more friend. Yep, perfect. Alright, let's get in here now. Oh, yes. There you go. How many enemies can a Baron take on? One Mancubus and one Cacod one and a half Cacodemons, I guess you could say. Right, I did get a lot of rockets here, so screw this. And then, where's the teleporter? Other side. This is how to do this fight easily. The teleporter takes you back here, and this is just a much better spot for fighting these Cacodemons. Ooh, 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 ooh. There was a lot of rocket to the face potential right there. What have we got? Three Cacodemons. Um, auto aim. And there we go, the Abandoned Mines. First try after sitting down to play the recorded run. 
There you go. Practice makes perfect, I guess. Time to tackle the monster condo with my Magnum Dong. Let's go get the timed secret. Yes, you have 30 seconds to get through there. Or never again. So I'll hang around in this area for just a sec so you can see what I mean. I'm kind of thinking... Actually, no, I want some more guns first. I want some more guns. So, whoops. Just mind Sandy's arrow. Don't need to look at that example of bad level design right now. I want to grab this, which means fighting a bunch of turbo specters. And this map involves a lot of massive open areas that you sort of back up into to avoid ambushes. Kind of like that. Now, I guess I'll grab these, whatever. The room hasn't gone dark yet, but it's fine. They last for quite a while. And we need to prove ourselves worthy of the chain gun by fighting an Arachnotron. And now I could go do that other room, but I guess while I have these goggles, let's just do this. We need to prove ourselves worthy of that rocket. Do a trial of hit scanners. We seem to be particularly accurate today. Nice unpegged textures on the side of these brick walls there, by the way. And now, uh, I guess take the imps on. In my practice run, I uh, used the imps and the arachnotrons as like an in-fight party, but I don't think it was worth it. Yeah, and my practice run of this map went perfectly. I just beat it. <laughs> I'm really hoping that will happen again. I also tagged the untaggable secret with ease. I'm really hoping that will happen again. Might even be worth just waiting for these guys to get closer, to be honest. A refire check on these fast arachnotrons. Annoying as hell. Come on, just pain chance yourself and die. Die! Okay, that was really risky of me. Shouldn't have done that, because obviously he can fire through sometimes. Uh, actually, let's just do this bit, seeing as I'm here. And if you're wondering which bit, I mean the yellow key room. Let's just do it. So this would be pretty hectic without the vulnerabilities. There's actually a box of rockets behind me that I probably should be grabbing, but whatever. That went pretty well. Let's just not even worry about using rockets on you. No need. And who's still out here? Hell Knight, Chain Gunner. Thank you, Hell Knight. Whoop. Zombie man. What are you trying to do? And we have a invulnerability in reserve, which is nice. What the hell were you doing? And so, I, oh yeah. That's exactly why I ran back there. Like, I knew in my muscle memory it's a good idea to run back there. And what the hell? I'm getting peppered. There is plenty of health flying around, fortunately, but damn. Oh, I hadn't done this. Oh my god. I didn't realize there were two chain gunners in this room, I assume, because I could see that other chain gunner that this was done. Damn, okay. Sloppy finish. Almost should have picked up that second of vulnerability, but in the end, didn't, so I will use that for a different section. I don't usually use that invuln or anything beyond this moment, but yeah, I have it, so I may as well. Maybe I should use it for this next bit. Wait, did I do this? I have not done this. Okay. Oi, I was getting caught in these bloody skulls. Okay. Oh uh, yeah, so this is a secret, obviously, and I, well, I need it for the kill count. But what I want to do now... I'd already done that because I was trying to show off things. 
is this area. This has the secret that I was talking about. And these decorations block. Hence why it's actually a lot more safe than you might think to fire rockets. And it's pretty necessary because you're just surrounded by pain elementals. Decorations won't keep them out forever, as you can see. Hmm, pain elementals. I've got to be actually hitting the pain elementals, you know? Oh my god. How many of them have died or not? Should probably just be backing up so that they stop firing muscles. Fast lost souls, man. Obnoxious. Don't have that many bullets. Oh yeah, because I have to use a fair bit of ammo. Oh crap. Where are these pain elementals? Oh my god, I'm concentrating so hard right now. I did manage to hit them, I think, with rockets and plasma. Enough. Did you see that? That was a pain elemental that's just been squished by the door. Luckily I don't think there's any arch files that can get here. A ghost pain elemental would be the worst. Okay, it's just lost souls. Oh, and he's been frozen. Ooh. Yeah, well I'll pick up everything then I guess because my health is terrible. And now, this is the point where I pray that this doesn't take too long. This secret here is very taggable. But you need to wall run N and SR50 at the same time and line def skip that teleporter. Also, nice missing texture. And yeah, the whole reason to come into this room now at this point was to grab that BFG, basically. Okay, please don't take too long. You just need to get a wall run going. Oh my god, I it lost momentum when I hit the step. I'll try an SR50 and wall run and then you, you get the idea, right? If you get the angle just right, you will run fast enough that you skip the line def. And yep, yeah, of course, it's going to take multiple tries. You can also do it on this wall. Um, but yeah, you've got to get the angle just right. And with the keyboard, that's obviously pretty difficult. You kind of just got to get lucky that your starting angle was good enough. I guess I can try and line it up. like because it's So I was wall running there, you see. Was I wall running fast enough? No. The annoying thing is this could take several minutes. And I know it's not like the most interesting to watch, uh, but it's very doable and it means I will have tagged every single secret. You know, the most annoying thing, I would say, there we go, didn't take too long. Yeah, the most annoying thing is like spending minutes doing that and then getting further into the map and just dying. <laughs> Alright. And I have that other invulnerability, so we're near to the point where I'm going to go grab it, I guess. Why not use it for the bit that's coming up? I'm sure you know the bit if you're familiar with this map. The bit that I'd be referring to that is actually somewhat tricky. Also, can I wake the pinkies up from here? Yes. You can't get me sucked in fast pinkies. Another one right there. I just completely wasted six shells, but this map has a lot of ammo, so not too worried about that. And we may as well just finish off this ambush now. Well, actually, totally, because I need to go get that invuln I'm talking about. Time to die, guys. Time to die. Dude, die! Damn. Fast monsters doesn't mean you have extra health. What the hell? Okay. Ammo not looking super crash hot. Doesn't matter. Oh yeah, I need to make sure... I re oh, I can use that. I think I will use that. The, uh... The skull thing that lets you through where the imps are, just so I don't run the risk of failing the jump. Okay, come on. Come on, 30 seconds isn't that long in this context. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, I need this actually. Actually open the door. Yeah. Okay. And then this. And well, I get the invuln for this part of the room. 
but I won't get it for the next part. What the hell? Oh, uh, clipping fireballs already woken it up. Okay, well, uh, I guess I don't need the berserk. Oh, my ammo though. Do I have enough? I don't even have enough ammo to do the next bit. What the hell? What the hell? Why did these guys open up? Whoa, what the hell? Did all the revenants wake up? Oh my god, I did not know that that's the way this map worked. If you haven't already... Oh my god. They're awake now? Yeah, I don't know if I've got any choice then but to try and do this bit. Oh man, this is hectic. Oh crap. Crap. Oh, I'm getting punched by revenants. I need ammo. Fight. Fight. Okay, well, I've pretty much managed it. There you go, never doubt yourself. Ooh, wow, okay, no, doubt yourself. Doubt yourself. Okay. Grab this and this. And these guys should fight. Yeah, I just assumed that I didn't have enough ammo to do that bit. And, well, in the end, help me, Chain Gunner. Thank you. In the end, it worked out. And everything will be okay because you get another invuln here. And I think hopefully plenty of ammo. Yeah. So when we get back into that room with all the revenants, I'll have enough BFG and an invuln. But goddamn. I didn't know all those revenants got let out at that moment, like when you go into the Mancubus Revenant area. Alright, let's go. Hey, fellas. Damn, every single one of them. It's like 16 revenants. That's a lot for Doom 2. There's someone still shooting at me? No, this is just homing missiles. And there is. Where'd you go? Where the hell is it? Down in here. How did he get down there? There's still someone else. Damn, this has been a lot of reference. Bloody, bloody hell. Okay, we're nearly done with this map now at least. And I get lots of rockets here, so... And a BFG shot actually, so... We're all good. This is pretty much it now. Whoops, those rockets are missed. Oh no, what am I doing? Just firing the plasma rifle after the auto switch. Whatever. Two kills. And I know what they are. It's the Hell Knight and Barney. From here. But there's a lot of lost souls as well who don't count to the kill count. And I'm not interested in getting breathed to death at the last hurdle. Okay, it's just Barney left now, basically. And if you're wondering what I mean... Barney? Half-Life come to... Doom? No, this guy is affectionately known colloquially as Barney. Because he's the archfold that in speedruns can open this door for you and let you through. I don't know why they chose Barney, but there you go. That's that's the name he's been given because he's an archfold who has a particular set of skills. Okay, Spirit World. This one is another one that's actually way, way easier than you might think. Guys, I just want these shells and this. Even more so than Monster Condo. This is Invulnerability the map. I'm going to get hit scanned to death. 1% health hype. Cells, get out. Let's come do this bit. Hey, Mr. Archfile. 
And as you can see, there's another invuln just like right next to me here, or right in front of me. Let's grab it. And there's another invuln on the platform I'm standing on right now. First things first, let's take care of these guys. And there was a two more invuns down where the spider masterminds are. Oh, I've run out of shells. So yeah, this map, you can pretty much do the entire thing with invulnerability. Quickly take care of this guy. Oh crap. There we go. And then these guys. And now I have the chain gun. We should make this real easy. Oh no, I've definitely didn't want to open up this. I forgot the shooting that opens that. No. Yes, two ice balls at once, in Doom 2. Literally the only time. Uh, is it shooting this wall then? The hell? What lowers this central pillar? I could have swore it was... Is it that? Oh my god, it's shooting that. Okay. I just wanted a rocket launcher, man. That's all I wanted. Okay, and now for this bit. So much easier to deal with through this fake wall here than up where the pain elementals are. This map can be difficult if you were to do it. Oh wow, the lost soul limit's been reached. That's not a good sign. Um, yeah, this map can be difficult if you do it in what I assume was Sandy's intended order. But if you just run for the invulns like I did, and like most people do, ain't so bad. Right, there's one more ice to take care of. Let's just do it nice and quick. I'm getting harassed by Lost Soul. That imp was blocking the outfall. Where are the other pain elementals? I knew it. He's angry at a pain us uh, a Lost Soul. Causing all sorts of trouble. Damn lost souls, man. They're good. Yes! Okay. Chainsaw is viable against Lost Souls, even on fast monsters. Um, oh, it isn't in. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, the revenants are out. That's fine, though. I have enough rockets. But they should get themselves bitten to death by all the pinkies here. Is there? An, can I wake up the other revenants? No. It got killed. It got killed. Okay. Let's go and get myself some ammo. From oh god no. More importantly, let's get myself this. Let's grab one of the other invulns. And then this ammo here. Yeah, yeah, you take care of that. I'll take care of your friend. It's usually preferable to get the spider demons to infight each other, but whatever. And now we have lots of ammo. And like the bulk of the map is beaten, pretty much. Actually, no, that I lie, there's still a section or two that are somewhat difficult. Yeah, and on fast monsters, these guys find it much easier to fire through the cage. Hence, I didn't take any chances, as you can see. Thank you for the cells. And still yet another invon, which I guess I will use for the other, like, secret -y section that you don't even need to do. Which is pretty much the only thing left. Pretty much. 
Did I use this? Oh, I have two invons in reserve right now. See what I mean about this map? Like, you just do not need to worry about pretty much anything. Okay. Yeah, let's just do this. I have a BFG shot for the revenants in the red key room. And look, there's a box of shells here I didn't even pick up. Oh, that's a medkit. Don't mind me. Never played this game before, I guess. Hmm, those are coming back. Okay. So this is what I mean about the red key room. There we go. Needed two shots in the end, but whatever. Uh, Invulns. Don't really need to use them for this next bit, but you know what? You may as well. I want to just do this map. I lost soul on the wall there. Uh, where's the invuln? Here. Let's go. Oh, no, I have to go this way. Damn it. I'm wasting it. I'm wasting it. Let's go. Lift. Help me lift. Guess I can use this because I'm invulnerable. It's this area that I'm talking about. Of course, it took more than three rockets. Oh god, lost souls. Stupid things. You guys are the bane of fast monsters, like... Or the bane of my existence on fast monsters. The absolute worst. Right, should be Revenants? No. That's the one that's not marked with a candle. One stop mark of the candle is a supercharge. All the rest. Uh, mark of the candle. Just have other random stuff. That's the secrets taken care of. There's just one more room. It is actually kind of a little bit annoying. The lights will go out. I'm back up into the door. A bunch of chain gunners and a cacodemon in the dark. Yes. Thank you, Imp, for distracting the cacodemon. Love to see it. Is this the final kills? I believe so. Oh, that's the first shotgun that I picked up. Oh no, I know what the final kills are. You can turn the lights back on. There we go. The final kills, which I can use the BFG for, are two revenants in a hell knight, something like that. In the exit room, when you grab the megasphere, so you get I have a BFG and I'm gonna get a megasphere. And I can do that. Spirit World, done. It is invuln the map. It's so easy. You just get so many invulns that it's really hard to mess this map up. Just go get them. Okay. Living End. This is probably... It's in contention for the toughest map on Fast Monsters. It's between this and Barrels of Fun. Like I said back in Abandoned Mines, I found Abandoned Mines to be the trickiest map of these five to practice. But that, to be fair to this map, it is still pretty tricky in its own right. Good. Now, as you can see, it can definitely go wrong. Uh, are those revenants not getting themselves killed by the mancubi yet? Yeah, and yeah, you've got to be constantly dealing with the mancubi shooting at you. Really annoying. Really annoying. Whoop. Yeah, and I really don't have much health here, obviously. I will get a Berserk soon, but I just have to be super careful of Chain Gunners. Wow, and I'm so close to getting hit by this Mancubus. Oh my god, and I nearly fell off. You see how close I was to falling off? Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. I think there's an Imp still? Yep. Let's just go get this Berserk. Okay, well, yep. <laughs> uh, and there's chain gunners here still. Just gotta avoid that bloody mancubus. Man, he's annoying. Yeah, we can grab all the ammo, but I'm not going there. We are doing the classic. Run to here strats. There's a cacodemon to take out. Actually, don't. I need the health for this. 
This is pretty sketchy now. Yeah, yeah, he can't get me, thank god. There's a Cacodemon right behind me, I'm pretty sure, that's shooting at me, and he's just hitting the wall. Oh, thank god for that handle there, see? Alright. So yeah, if you just teleport, just don't move at all. They can't get you, it's pretty handy. Oh, thank god. And yeah, because this bit of wall here just saves your ass. And the candle. No! There's another Cacodemon. Man, the wall. I'm just gonna position myself behind it just that little bit more. Damn, man. Blast it, dude. Alright. But, cells in reserve. Love to see it. And we can continue. Yeah, that would lower this from this side. I think it's an imp here. There's also this guy. Oh, thank god I'd already heard him a lot. Yeah, well, that was the imp that I was thinking of. And that's some of the scariest sections of this map done. There's only really one more bit that I'm truly afraid of. And it's the bit that you'd normally be afraid of, I think. The true final boss of Doom 2. Uh, this imp here can be a bit hard to see. Yeah. Too slow. Yeah, that's all of these guys, though. Now we just got to take out these guys methodically. Um, this guy. Yep, the wall is saving me once again. Pretty confident that it would. And then this bit. Very tedious. It's gonna be so hard not to grab that med kit. I'm really trying not to, but maybe it'd be better to just do it. You get plenty of health on this map. Plenty of health, just not so much in the way of ammo and guns. Which is interesting. This is, you know, Romero's last map for Doom 2. Oh my god, okay, well. That came through the thing. No clicked. Yeah, this sort of hints towards Romero's later mapping style. It's a bit more sigil-esque or something you could say, this map. Where are you going? Kind of reminds me of, um... Some of Romero's episode 4 for Ultimate Doom maps. Okay, this bit, so... Can use some plasma. I try and save up a lot of it for obvious reasons, but here, especially on past monsters, it's worth using a bit of it. Quite a few Cacodemons here. Still three of them. I've injured a couple of them with plasma, but yeah. Fortunately, you do get a super shotgun eventually on this map. Very un John Romero like to actually give you the super shotgun. Okay, did you get hurt by plasma? Yes, thank God. All right. And one advantage of fighting those guys there is it gives time for this to raise, and we're about to get the super shotgun. And that's also the last bit of armor you get in the entire map. So now every hit I take and lose armor, never coming back. Yeah, cool. We love to see these guys are not. Great. More armor gone. Please die. Please die? Oh god damn it, I press 4, what a huge waste of armor right there, pressing the wrong button for the wrong gun. Okay, I guess I have to do this. I'm just wasting everything right now, like what the hell am I doing? Die! Why is nothing dying? At least this happened nice and easily. Do not fall in here because I'm pretty sure it's inescapable. And well, yeah, that armor that I was saying that you never get back, 
it's more than half gone because I've just been playing stupidly. Really stupidly, to be honest. Okay, let's just do this. No need to hide from the art file. Especially on past monsters. He'll just stay where he is, basically. Getting completely pushed back by the absolute raw power of the Super Shotgun. And yeah, I know you're there. Kind of the same with the guy we're about to fight. That's all the items already as well. So because of fast monsters, we can pretty much just go right up in his face. And he shouldn't really hit any of his teleport lines. And okay, this is worthy of the plasma, this bit. This is a hit scan almost. More than anything. And okay. Having made it to this bit, I'm very confident of making it to the end. It's just a matter of how much health and ammo that I have at that point. Might as well take these guys out now. Single barrel shotgun's just a bit more accurate at distance, hence why I'm using it. Uh, I can probably just use this double barrel for this guy. Nice casual left-right strafing there. Yeah, these guys are one of the biggest pains in the whole map to kill. The Baron's there. Funny, there's not really that many um, enemies in this map. 107. Okay, I think we just have to rush with this. Hopefully no lost soul spawn. Of course it did. Getting held up on the shotgun. Thank you, shotgun. Oop, okay, the barons can be seen now. Is there one more guy? Yes. Uh guess I'll use a little bit. Or oh, actually. No rocket launcher. Yeah, so you do actually get quite a few cells right at the end here. There's also more behind the barons. So I should have plenty for the final boss. Just as long as I don't really use any on the barons. Yeah, this is pretty annoying, this little fight here. As you can see, if I fall in the lava, I could lose a lot of health. Could you please die? Okay. Now I can get a bit closer and dodge with a little bit more calmness. Could you also please die? Like, please? Okay. Yep, three kills left. Just the guys up here. To Mancubi and the final boss. I think this Mancubus can be killed from here. Yeah. I have easily enough shells to do this, so I'm gonna... Because it's fast monsters. Yeah, you can't get me from here, perfect. And you all know what I'm talking about when I say the final boss, right? The final boss of Doom 2. You can actually cheese it if you jump over here. Missing this, like, line def with the metal texture. It won't actually raise. We're not doing that. So with fast monsters, it'll stay pretty much in place, though. I can just do this. It's actually easier than on um, regular UV. And that is the living end. Surprisingly easy on fast monsters, I have to say. The intro, I guess, just getting a foothold is pretty difficult. But after that point, the same old tactics you normally use work incredibly well. Yeah. And yeah, the final boss is even easier than on regular UV. One of those things. Go figure. Okay. This map is also just as easy as it always would be, no matter what. Whoops. Well, that's not a good start. Well, okay. I guess except that the Revenant does go pretty ham on you, but whatever. 
Uh, do I care about you? Not really. Ah, a spectre. Ah, I didn't make it. That's fine, I gotta kill this revenant anyway. Whoa. Boom. Love to see it. Okay. Whatever. Of course, we need this ready to get people off my back. See if I can get in second rocket this time and just finish this all off. Oh wow, that's bad. I've actually missed a rocket. That is just awful. As soon as you turn the camera on, things go to hell. No art files yet, and no projectile firing enemies. Okay, getting an easy run here, but I should already be done at this point. Damn it, I missed again. Normally don't struggle this much to get in that second rocket as I'm falling down. Years of muscle memory. But this should be it. See you nerds, this map is easy. No matter fast monsters or not, the Icon of Sin is very very easy and that is the entirety of Doom 2 completed on fast monsters. I uh, hope you enjoyed, that was with the keyboard only. Like I have said all throughout, to me, Fast Monsters is just a different style of play on these older, easier maps. Of course, on massive slaughter maps and things, it makes things significantly harder. And even on these maps, it is like harder, but it's mostly a different style of play, I would say. Like, you just need to come up with some slightly different tactics to what you'd normally use, and then it doesn't really become that much more difficult. It's just a battle in your own mind of remembering the tactical choices you need to make for Fast Monsters as opposed to not Fast Monsters. That being said, freely admit, it is it starts from a base level of being much, much harder. If you were to just run into like some random blind map that you'd never played before on Fast Monsters, it will be significantly diffi more difficult than without Fast Monsters on. But yeah, on these older maps, the iWord maps, easy maps, it's not necessarily harder, it's just different. Anyway, yeah, if you, hopefully you get what I mean if you leave a comment if you don't, and I'll try and explain it a bit better, but, you know... These maps, I guess another way of putting it is these maps are so easy that even fast points just doesn't make them hard. That might be just simply what I'm experiencing and I'm just, you know, talking crap, who knows. Uh, but yeah, Fast Monsters, it has its place. I personally, so now that I've at least proven that I can beat Doom 2 with Fast Monsters, I guess I can kind of say a little bit more, which is that um, I'm not the hugest fan. I genuinely don't like the changes it makes to the gameplay that much. The way it sort of makes things a bit more grindy and you're sort of turning it into a cover shooter a bit more. It's just not that fun. It is more difficult and it is a bit of a skill issue, I freely admit that. I don't like the way it makes things a bit harder. But yeah, the way it changes the way you play, I just don't like that so much. I think that Doom is a bit more fun with the randomness in it, with the RNG, with the sort of unpredictable elements of when are the monsters going to attack and where are they going to walk. The extra predictability this adds to this, yeah, because they're turrets and they fire regularly and faster, it makes it harder, but not necessarily any more fun, you know, hard doesn't have a direct correlation with fun. And that's especially true for Doom with Fast Monsters in my opinion. That's not to say that I'd never play with Fast Monsters, The Fast Monsters isn't somewhat fun. I do enjoy it, you know, Doom is Doom. And I would still potentially play other things with Fast Monsters enabled, like it can be fun and I can sometimes be in the mood for it. But yeah, it's just not my cup of tea. That's all. That's all I'm trying to say. And definitely part of that is a little bit of a skill issue. I'm not going to shy away from that. Anyway, there we go. That's Doom 2 on Fast Monsters. Like I say, maybe I'll play some other things on Fast Monsters. It'd be interesting to challenge myself and give like Plutonia a go on Fast Monsters. Who knows? But for now, I'm going to stick mostly, like mostly, mostly to... Just, you know, regular UV. But, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you'd want to see any other particular wads or particular wads on Fast Monsters in the comments. And I'll see you in the next playthrough I do. Peace.